DU stepped it right back, got it right back to us. I know guys were beat up in that game. All right, Emmanuel, how long you tried to battle? Appreciate it, man. Hey, I know, I know, Debo, I don't know what your stats were. I know you had a lot of them. I know your shoulder hurt. All right, came back out and big job at the end when I know you came from. Hey, guy, we don't always want to do it that way. All right, but what we found out all year, man, you guys are built for that, man. All right, we can get so much better. All right, it's not even close. All right. Family on three. One, two, three. Family! Family. That was your 49ers locker room fresh off of that win against the Arizona Cardinals. Kiana Martin joined by 49ers center Weston Richburg. Um, if we called Halloween that game week nine against the Cardinals a nail biter, what do we call this win on week 11? I mean, the last several weeks have kind of been like that. Yeah. Uh, but I think it speaks to the kind of guys we have on our team. I think we've shown this year how we've been able to win games in, in different fashions. Uh, you know, it, it makes it a little more nerve wracking, uh, like you said, nail biters, but a win's a win, uh, which, which are hard to come by in this league. So we're really happy with where we're at right now. Ugly, pretty, whatever the case may be, the 49ers got the win over the Arizona Cardinals. Three games, seeing them twice in three weeks, we shouldn't just talk about it. We might as well just jump right into the highlights and go over what transpired here at Levi Stadium. 49ers and Cardinals. Second meeting, two weeks. Halloween was a thriller, and so was week 11. 49ers unable to get anything going in the first quarter. Just four passing yards for Jimmy G and co. But Kyler Murray trying to find the end zone. Jimmy Ward there to deny the touchdown. Cardinals settle for three. Cardinals next drive. Murray delivers a strike downfield to Farrow Cooper to move the cards into the red zone. They cap off the drive with an easy touchdown to Larry Fitzgerald. Cardinals up 10 zip. Managed to score on all three of their first drives. The third, Cooper again to extend the lead to 16. Jimmy G's turn. Garoppolo under pressure. He lobbed it to Richie James, who follows his blockers into Cardinals territory. The largest play of the game. He picks up 57 yards there. Uh, we'll talk about this play a little more in a bit. A few plays later, no Kittle, no problem. Ross Dwelly steps in for his teammate, grabs his first touchdown of his career. I hope he held on to that ball. Cardinals ball. Kyler Murray scrambles and D Ford gets to him with the sack. 49ers get a field goal and then get the ball back. Jimmy Garoppolo to Tevin Coleman for 37 yards right there. And then next up, Garoppolo with plenty of time in the pocket, much thanks to this guy next to us. Emmanuel Sanders, he picks up 14 here. Almost a first down right there. And now look who it is. No one else but Ross Dwelly, two touchdowns for the day for Ross. 49ers ball, one of the most impressive catches I think I've seen all year long. Made Sports Center's top play. Debo Samuel in between two defenders, bobbled a pass off of a helmet, but he secures the ball on a crucial third and nine. I don't even know how he caught that ball. That was impressive. 49ers still driving. Kendrick Bourne picks up 19 yards right here. Garoppolo finds his receiver. He looks for Bourne again, this time in the end zone, connects with a third year wideout for a two yard touchdown. 49ers take the lead. Kyler Murray, AKA little squirrel keeps the ball and takes it to the house for a 22 yard touchdown. You're laughing at that one. <laughs> <laughs> 49ers ball, Debo Samuel again, a big play for the rookie. An untimely interception gives the Cardinals back the ball, but 49ers defense, they step up again, big late in the fourth. Eric Armstead with a huge third down sack. Under 40 seconds left in the game, 49ers drive down the field. His first snap of the game, Jeff Wilson Jr. comes up big, takes the lead with a 25-yard touchdown to the house. Kyler Murray trying to make something happen, but Jermon Trey Moore, who joined the team just four days prior, forces a fumble. Jaquaski Tart recovers. Huge play for the defense right there. All right, last chance for a big play. Murray to Fitzgerald, and, well, it's kind of a lot to explain what happened here, but there's a fumble and it's recovered by DJ Reed for a touchdown as time expired and it may not have been pretty, but your San Francisco 49ers got the win. 49ers sweep the Cardinals for the first time since 2013. Jimmy Garoppolo, a career game. We'll get into those numbers momentarily, but 16 point comeback victory is the largest regular season come from behind win for the 49ers since October of 2011 against the Philadelphia Eagles when they trailed 23 to three in the third quarter. Debo Samuel back to back 100 yard games. Uh, the rookie hauled in eight receptions for a career high 134 yards. Uh, Weston, I'm going to toss this over to you. What did you see out of this offense, in particular some of the young guys who stepped up on Sunday? 
Well, as an offensive line, we want to run the ball, and we didn't have that um, Sunday. So it was really important for our guys to step up. I think Jimmy, again, stepped up, shows what he's got, show how he can play and what kind of player he is. And we had, again, Debo step up and make some big plays, uh, had a lot of production there. So it's kind of cool um, to see different parts of our offense step up when they need to because other things aren't working. So that was really huge for us and a reason why we won the game. You look at that first quarter, 49ers quickly trailing 16-0. and 0. Did this team need to make any adjustments going into this second quarter? Uh, I don't know if it was inju- uh, adjustments. We just needed to clean things up. Um, you know, like I said, the run game was not working. Um, really didn't get that figured out the whole game, uh, which is something we need to work on. But we were able to make plays in the past game. Screens were huge, um, like the, the, the screen you showed earlier. Uh, that was a huge play in the game, really got us set up for our first touchdown. So we had just had to step up in other ways and make it work uh, in, in ways that maybe we, we uh, didn't expect before the game. You talked about the 49ers making plays, so it's the perfect time for origin DNA of a play. I'm going to let you play, Coach. You've got the Telestrator in front of you. Let's run through some of those plays, and let's start off with Richie James' 57-yard pickup that ultimately led to Ross Dwelly's touchdown. Yeah, so this uh, this was probably, I, I, I think, the biggest play in the game. Um, We've got a big screen call here. We knew, we understood that this play had the, the possibility to break open and be a big play. Um, it's kind of a misdirection. Uh, it looks like a keeper with Jimmy rolling out here to the right. Uh, we're going to bring all five linemen, plus Richie over here to the right side. Hopefully, we get everybody on the defense to follow Jimmy with the ball, um, and we'll let it run here. <clears throat> big big uh, block here by School, our left tackle. He's got to lose uh, the the defensive end inside. It makes a good play, gets him lost in there. And you see there was only one guy on defense over here that we have to beat. We have four guys guys against one, basically. Uh, So right here, it looks pretty good for us. Uh, Then we come out, and Lakin takes uh, the first guy. And then we just, uh, you know, got to make guys miss. Got to hustle down. This, again, a huge play. Richie did a great job running down. Good hustle by... Uh, the four guys on the O-line making those guys miss and getting a huge play there. Again, we'll show kind of, uh, the, the, I feel like the most important block was school losing the defensive end here on the side, yeah. getting all the guys to lose uh, over the top. Again, huge play, nobody downfield, really good look for us offensive linemen. A little I'll, tired after that play. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to ask you, you guys are you're almost in stride with Richie, and Richie's not a slow he, guy. He's fast. He passed us up. He passed <laughs> us up. I felt good there for a second, um, but he passed us up like he should. Uh, again, <laughs> that play, uh, looking back, was the biggest play of the game for us. Um, I'm still impressed with the speed of the O-line. If we had to put you guys in a foot race, who do you think would uh, win that one? Uh, I'd have to give it to Joe. Really? I, yeah, Joe, Joe has done some impressive things uh, running. Um, he's, don't tell him I said that, though. Okay. he's, he's well, like not. almost 40 um, and can still run really fast. <laughs> so uh, I'm impressed. I think he's uh, probably the fastest guy. I would have never guessed, but we got to keep Joe humble. We won't, that <laughs> yeah, stays between that's hard us. To do. Let's, ju- <laughs> let's jump to the next play. Another big play in the game. Uh, and this one, Jeff Wilson Jr.'s 25 yard touchdown. Uh, let's run through that one. Yeah, uh, the second most important play of the game, obviously. This is what won us the game. Jeff comes in. I think this is Jeff's first play of the game, yeah. um, which is huge. Says a lot about him as a player, especially a young guy able to come in and make a big play like this. This is really a, we call it like a scat protection. So there's only five guys, the five guys up front in protection. And it just so happens that Arizona is going to bring basically an all-out blitz. They call it a triple, triple blast, bring those two linebackers, bring this safety down the middle. So we're really one guy short because they're going to bring, uh, I think, everybody else. Um, the center's got to do a better job of coming back, excuse me, for the, uh, for the third guy. It was another guy, excuse me. But Jimmy does a great job dropping it right over the top, and it leaves nobody to cover Jeff. Again, they're going to bring, I believe, these three here, triple blast. We've got a squeeze here. I've got to come here and pick this up and come back late for 32. Uh, but Jimmy does a great job of dumping it over 32, getting yeah. it to Jeff for a big play. And there it is. Jeff Wilson Jr., first snap of the game, takes it to the house. He's excited, rightfully so, well-deserved for that 25-yard touchdown. That is your origin DNA of a play. Uh, Now, seeing planes like we just broke down, and also, in particular, I want to talk about that two-minute drill, you guys driving down the field. What does it say having a guy like Jimmy coming down to the wire in need of a big play and he delivers. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's I think the theme over the last three games is so, some things haven't gone right, but we've been able to depend on to depend on Jimmy to make those plays. And that 
But that two minute drive was huge uh, to make those plays, uh, to get us in position of, to score points. That's what we needed to do in this game. And Jimmy really stepped up and made that happen. Big game for Jimmy Garoppolo, who is the Yahoo fantasy performer of the game. Going to run through a couple of his stats. Completed 75.6% of his passes for a career high 424 yards and a career high tying of four touchdowns for 115.4 quarterback rating. He averaged 10.2 yards per attempt when under pressure against the Cardinals. And on play action, he was 10 of 11 for 151 yards and a touchdown for a 149.1 passer rating. We just talked about him, but we got to talk about him a little more. What did you see out of your quarterback on Sunday? I, I think the thing that he does best is stay poised. You know, when things aren't going right, you need your leader to be consistent in his demeanor. And I think Jimmy does a really great job, especially with the, the young guys that we have in our receiving core and our running back uh, room. I think uh, it's important as older guys, as you know, more veteran players to stay calm. Uh, just to make sure that we're not losing our, our minds trying to do things that we're not able to do, but staying in ourselves uh, and being able to make the plays that we can make. Jimmy Garoppolo, your Yahoo fantasy performer of the game. Now, if there's anybody in this locker room who is closer to Jimmy, and I literally mean that, it would be you. It's but me. how would you describe your relationship with Jimmy over these last two years? Uh, it's grown, obviously. You know, it's, last year we didn't have many games. I think he played three, three and a half games last year, so I didn't get a lot of time with him. We had a lot of different quarterbacks in there, but this year has been really nice to have him in there. We kind of learn about each other, learn, you know, uh, you know how to uh, help each other during game type, game type situations. You know, a two-minute situation, how I can help him uh, get everything set faster. You know, how he can help me in certain situations. Um, it's it's been really fun. You know, having a guy that's my age. Um, you know, kind of growing together in this offense. I, I, I've really enjoyed it, and I, I really respect the way that he attacks everything. He's very professional, does a great job being our leader. You talk about getting to know Jimmy. Well, Jimmy's gotten to know you pretty well as well, so I, I want you to check out this video. Jimmy had some, some interesting words to say about you, and I want to see your take on it. Check out Jimmy Garoppolo in our Toyota one-on-one. -on -one. Check this out. Nick Parker wants to know who in the locker room has the best drip. Best drip. <laughs> KB, KB, Quan's up there for sure. Those, those two, that's a, that's a good top two right there. Weston Richburg's got to be a close third. Really? Yeah, he's, nick, he's nicknamed Big Drip. I'm sure everyone is, knows is that. That's his name, Big oh, Drip. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he comes out there, you know, he's ready to roll. Weston Richburg, big drip. You are in the same category of a guy <laughs> like Kendrick Bourne. Uh, is this truly your nickname? Where did this come from? It, I want to know about the style of Weston Richburg. It is. I, I, don't, I don't know how it relates to my style because I think my style is lacking uh, really? significantly. But the fact that they grouped me in with KB and Quan is, is pretty impressive. They've got some shiny teeth uh, <laughs> mouthpieces that I do not have. I should work on that. But... Yeah, there's some song called Big Drip, uh -huh. and during my rehab this offseason, I got named Big Drip for some reason. I, I still don't know how that happened, but it stuck. <coughs> um, not as unfortunate as I thought. Um, it's kind of grown on me, uh, and I guess I'm the, the third most drippy guy Ooh, on the Oh, I like that. That's yeah, pretty, pretty cool. 49er center Weston Richburg, a.k.a. Big Drip, <laughs> a.k.a. the third most drippiest guy on the 49ers Obviously. roster. I don't think it's a bad name to have. I like it. But let's talk about this O-line, and specifically I want to talk about the younger guys. You've had Daniel Brunskill, Justin School, step in this season for guys like Joe Staley and Mike McGlinchey, who have spent time <laughs> out of the lineup. But... You have seen, with these two young guys, and you've seen little to no drop-off. How is this team continuing, or this O-line continuing to function despite the movement along the O-line? Yeah, uh, we, I think we went maybe a five or six game span without Joe, without Mike. Right. And we lost our third string, our swing tackle in preseason. So we really had, uh, you know, Justin School and Dan Brunskill, who were the, really the fourth and fifth guys uh, in line playing those games and we didn't lose a single game. I think you look back at that, that point of the season, those two guys played a very significant role uh, in keeping us where we're at and making, making uh, you know, things in the postseason possible for us when, when we were kind of lacking in, in personnel. I think they did an, a tremendous job stepping up. Like you said, there was no drop off. We were able to have really good production. 
scored a lot of points in that span. And I think those two guys deserve a lot of credit for where we're at right now. Crediting the young guys, but we also have to credit you as well. Kyle Shanahan, extremely complimentary of you this week, saying that you've been having a hell of a year. You've been doing really good in the run game and pass game. It's nice to have you out here because you weren't necessarily here. You weren't fully healthy last season. But he said you've gotten better week in and week out. You've been exactly what this team is hoped for. How do you summarize the season that you've been having this year? Well, I think it's all uh, reflected in our record. Uh, you know, we've had good team success. And I think when you're having good team success, that means individuals are playing well. So um, that goes across the board. Like, like we said, guys stepped up, make big plays in the offensive line. We've had Debo step up, skill position players step up, Jimmy step up. Our defense is playing phenomenal. Um, I think it goes across the board. I think you'd see that, uh, that trend uh, individually throughout the team, that people are playing better uh, and it's bringing better results for us. You mentioned the 49ers defense, and we would have to acknowledge them on this show. And I want to know, playing on this O-line, does it make you better? Or is it, how's the challenge going against this defense that is at the top of the league in total defense, passing yards, points per game, among other categories? How is that in practice? Yeah, it's a challenge. Uh, they've got really great players across the board up front. Our linebacking core makes it tough on us. Uh, secondary is, is led by Richard, and and they play really well as well. Um, yeah, going against that every day in practice is, is tough, but I think it's made us better as offensive line. We're you know, kind of able to see different techniques from these guys and be able to kind of uh, figure, out a figure out how to handle those techniques and, and, and in turn make ourselves better players. 49ers defense will have a tall task in week 12, hosting Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. You guys have a tough series of matchups coming ahead. You have Green Bay, New Orleans, and uh, Baltimore in that stretch. How much is this team looking at the schedule that lies ahead, knowing that these are essentially could be must win games when you guys have several teams nipping at your heels? Yeah, it, this is a huge stretch for us. I think you, you could see that at the beginning of the season. Those, you know, those uh, these next three teams are, have you know, been really successful in the past. Uh, they're playing very well right now. So this is, a, uh, like you said, going to be a tough stretch. Uh, but I, like I said, I think we've proven we can win games in multiple ways against different kinds of teams. And um, I'm excited to see us go compete. I think, again, our defense is, is playing very well. I'm excited to see them against one of the best quarterbacks to play the game. And uh, I'm excited for us to go out and be able to kind of fix some mistakes, fix some things that weren't working well, and, and be able to carry our team through this you know, last part of the season well. 49ers, tough stretch ahead, hosting the Green Bay Packers this Sunday night. Um, move to prime time, by the way. Yeah. Um, I do. Before we go, I've kind of opened up the option. Our last week we had DeForest Buckner as our guest, and Pro Bowl voting is open. I want to give you the chance to campaign for any teammate of your choosing. Mm. Um, looking at this roster, you can go offense, you can go defense, several players to choose from, but who would you say is truly deserving? of a spot on that Pro Bowl roster? I, I think you can't go wrong with anybody on our defensive line. Um, they've been big for us, made huge plays, come in in crunch time and done things that help our team win. Um, you know, there's multiple names up there. Bosa, obviously. Um, you got D, you got DeForest, Eric Armstead's playing really well. Our interior guys, JD, JD or DJ, excuse me, not JD, uh, and Sheldon. I think all those guys have been really productive for us, and you can't go wrong with any of those guys. Can't pick just one. You can just vote for the whole team. Yeah, give them all. Give them all. Put them all in there. <laughs> NFL.com backslash Pro Bowl. Vote for your 49ers to head to Orlando this January. That is going to do it for us here at 49ers Live. Um, Weston, a.k.a. Big Drip. <laughs> Uh, third drippiest 49er right. on the roster. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, 49ers hosting the Green Bay Packers 520 kickoff. Tickets still available. Head to 49ers.com slash tickets. Be here at Levi Stadium because the fans have been getting loud. They have. Very the loud. Keep it coming. Keep it going, except for when these guys are on offense. With that, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys Sunday night.